So what else we can add uh, like the validation pipes and all, all the other NSGS concepts. So we can add like API tags for each and every route. And we can also add these API operation which are coming from NestJS Swagger, which will put some details in your NestJS documentation. And the validation pipe, use pipe, so we have to import all those things. So validation pipe is to validate your payload. And the API tags in the Swagger documentation, it will create an individual tag for your application. Let's say this is for notes. Right, so same thing we can add everywhere. So this is API description, operation, API tag. We can remove this route. This is for fetch. Here also we can add. Status code you can decide. Like uh, for these you want to send 200, for create you might be want to send 201, get all nodes, HTTP code, 201 that is already there. Okay, so same thing you can add uh, to all the routes that will add some description to your APIs and you can put the description here okay this is for delete, delete notes put some description so that same thing can appear on your swagger documentation okay now what other things we can do is we can add a few more validations so this is the note id of type id we can just keep it as an id instead of notes id and we are sending this id here okay now the dto validations like you have a request body response and all right you are even passing these query parameter so how to how do we validate them because this is going to be a uuid right currently this can be written like this or you can also have a DTO for get by ID. So params, so what we can do is here we can say is get note by ID. Okay, so this is get note by ID can be your DTO. So let's create one DTO here. Export class. And here we can say, okay, I'm talking about ID, which should be of type UUID. So how do we specify that? ID is of type string. Here we will do all the descriptions API property. This is the tag which we can add. Okay, API properties there. This talks about okay, what is the description and all, what is this particular attribute is for, if it is required, true or false. So it will add only all those things into Swagger. And here we will we will use class validation saying that this is should be of type UUID. Is UUID we will get from class validator it should be let's see where we can get or we need to add the class validator is already there I think or we can add npm install minus minus save class validator and class former With the help of that, we can add the, the validations in our DTOs. Okay, this should be of type UUID, this should be of type string, this should be of type uh, numeric, this should be of type. So all these kind of validations are available in the class validator. 
so this would be simply like so we can use the api property and uuid is uuid we are getting from class validator this is good okay and this is required right so get node by id that means you should have to pass the query parameter id of type uuid otherwise it will break i mean it will give you the four uh, 400 bad request we will import this and everywhere we can just pass this id is dto dot id okay same thing you have to do the changes so in query parameter we are passing update note query parameter id and the inside the body also we have the id so dto so this is let's rename it to the param so it will become param.id okay similarly in the delete when you are sending anything for the delete first we have to validate that that id of type uuid or not okay these kind of validations and in this uh, things you have to add this api property and required flag like in the create text is required okay and another thing is is completed which is of type boolean is boolean is there anything like that yes there is something like that and is complete by default we can also set as a false this is coming inside a payload right so we are setting all these both required true similarly we can just put this is a text right so it should be is string And each string we can import from the class validator. Now update in the update what you need is completed boolean and all so we can add the, the validation. What is required what is not required we can decide okay is completed is not required so we can mark it as required false is boolean so we can just we can we don't need to add a validations here but here is this is a string this is required and we can import the same stuff from the class validator inside update also so it's like a basic things uh, which you can write we have already written very complex applications and dto's and all and we already know how to do all these things now what is the next thing we are targeting is first of all getting these APIs running and then writing the test cases.